Hi everyone, it's Vicky and Natalie from Minerva and we're back again this week to chat through the latest episode of The Sewing Bee. So this was episode five, wasn't it? And it was Art, Art week. week. Yeah, which we loved, loved didn't we? It. Absolutely loved. Loved it. Um, so yeah, this week was, I mean, it was... I'm, I'm going to say a bold statement. Yeah. This may have been my favourite episode ever. 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 Honestly. Mm, it's up there for I just me think well. it's such a cool space to take from it. Each each episode of the Zone B, sometimes they go very literal, you know, like yeah. it's it's this theme, it's that theme. But going with art in itself is such a statement. Yeah. Because art has shaped all crafts. Yeah. The, the cult, like pop culture through time and everyone's got different opinions and that's the whole yeah. point. It's objective, subjective. Like, yeah. Um, everyone's got a different take on it so yeah. it's really cool and I, I like that about it that you know what one person can hate the next can love mm -hmm. and that's that's the whole beauty of art yeah. isn't it but we don't all like the same thing yeah, and, yeah. yeah. so it's, it's a good episode to kind of get the creative juices flowing yeah. perfect for the transformation challenge yeah. it's a good episode to explore new techniques and we saw loads of techniques yeah. and I just finished watching the episode thinking I've got to do this I've got to uh, try that I've got to do yeah. that and that's what I want from a TV show really like yeah. that's what yeah. it is as an educational resource but also you're straight off the couch you're already planning your next project yeah, excited so, about yeah, making something. I really really yeah. really enjoyed yeah. it so well we've definitely dressed for the theme yes, this week we haven't we so yes. tell us what you are wearing now just I just painted this <laughs> I didn't so this is our uh, Minerva exclusive Visco Shelley buoyant strokes yeah that's and the this is the style arc hope dress yeah which is a gorgeous kind of floaty number these sleeves are lovely yeah. i mean you could adapt these as well depending on how tight you go with the elastic you yeah. can go really voluptuous yeah, if you picked yeah. a, a more stable fabric yeah. and then the best thing is it's got pockets ah yes of pockets. course yeah it's gorgeous print that is yeah. perfect for so all week. we've gone bold <laughs> this week and yeah as have you and mine is again my favorite butterick 5955 <laughs> top pattern i told you i have a lot of these yeah. um but this one is in the print babylon art which i just i yeah, love this print it's, i think it's i think of this as like one of our iconic prints yes, in the Minerva beautiful. exclusive range yeah this goes shally again it's just lovely for this heat yes. isn't it um yeah and really simple so and I think it just lets the fabric do the talking. We're just sort it? of like fading into this. Yeah, we are, are right? we? Yeah. <laughs> like camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get straight into it. So the first challenge, so the pattern challenge, uh, yeah, pattern challenge. Pattern challenge. Yep. <laughs> um, so that was to make a skirt that was gathered in at the waist with a great big Esme ball. Yes. <laughs> and they had to squeeze it in somewhere. Yeah, they did, didn't they? they? Yeah. <laughs> and then it was like sort of the addition was putting all the applique on, wasn't mm -hmm. it? So mm -hmm. they, they were like given taffeta fabrics to work with. Yeah, so it was 3.5 um, metres of taffeta. Well, and it was quite a it? simple sew for a pattern challenge, yeah. which they'd done in order for the contestants to focus on the art portion. A bit, yeah, the which was very it. much so they had a yeah, selection of taffeta a selection of shapes that they could cut out however they'd like yep. to then apply to and I thought it was quite tricky because they were working with the canvas flat really they were yep. working with the panel mm -hmm. and then it would come gathered in so it's yeah. very hard to think ahead to How where the gathers would gathered. come and yeah. at least one of them got pulled down for the placement, the placement. didn't they which yeah. I thought I mean it's a fair point we've got at this point like they're all so good we've got to criticise something yeah. and it's to make yeah. it a good show um, but it is I can appreciate you know that they, it's very difficult to to know exactly how they yes. look once it's gathered and isn't it they definitely wanted it to be inspired by modernism to be abstract to be colourful yes and to not sort of conform or create any kind of scene yeah. so that's which again, again so did couple, and they yeah. got pulled down you know that, and good they? for them they stood up for what they wanted yeah. because they felt the skirt was a representation of them and if you are thinking about wearing it that will always pop into the back of your mind yeah, of course it? it will you're always yeah. going to put your stamp and your take yeah. on it aren't you so if you prefer a more pictorial yeah. look instead of something completely abstract then yeah, yeah absolutely. that bow was so much fun as well yeah. just seeing them bag out that length of fabric yeah, it was a bit of picture there it? yeah it was yeah. beautiful yeah. I actually made a prom gown when I was 16 with my grandma it was satin rather than taffeta but it was a huge oh, wow. statement black obviously <laughs> <laughs> gown with a huge bow on the back that was oh, about that size boy. so it was kind of like bringing back memories and stuff yeah. as well but yeah. no they did a great job as well um i will admit i've actually never worked with taffeta okay i um, think i only have one it's sort of a Not silky them. substrate isn't it and uh, well it's, it's got a lot of uh, structure it's very crisp it's got a very like sort of rustly noise when mm -hmm. it moves it's very i think it's, it's very like, 80s 
Yeah, yeah. Mm. And it's very it's very unlike any other fabric, I think, because yeah. it is so lightweight, yet it's got so mm. much structure. And, uh, yeah, we've got a couple examples we of our core range here at Minerva. So this one's our two-tone taffeta. And what that means is the warp and the weft threads oh, yeah, that have got into this. weaving it, like you can see the this thread is like this bright pink colour. And then if you look at the edge, the other thread is like a blue colour. So the blue and the pink mix, Honestly, that's that gives kind of magic. magic. I've but actually yeah. never looked at that side and thought oh, about right, okay. but that's really yeah. clever. Yeah, and, and with the two, I mean, this comes in a huge colour range and some of them are more um, where the threads are quite similar, so it's mm. quite a subtle two-tone yeah. and others like this one that are quite dramatic I and mean, you can see how yeah. that colour changes. This is quite, just yeah. like the, the fabric they were using for the skirt. Yes, it yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then the other one that we've got, so you can see this isn't um, a two-tone as... Um, you know, like the other one, but this one is our crushed, uh, crushed taffeta, so it has like a, a creased or crushed texture to it, so it just gives it a different. <laughs> a so different don't feel. try and iron this to death. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to iron those creases out the, easily. <laughs> that's the intention of yes, the fabric. Yes, absolutely. But this yeah. would maybe provide, if in my mind, taffeta is very dressy, and yes. you know, this very ball gown or very. Um, formal. Elegant. This is yeah. sort of a, a more fun approach for maybe yeah. more everyday things. Maybe, yeah. Or a little yeah. two piece out of this or something yeah. for the summer. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think, like, you, you, you're right, and I think a, a lot of most people look at, think of taffeta as an elegant ball yes. gown just for special occasions, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah. I mean, like they showed last night with the skirt, you know, that could be dressed down to be worn every day. Yeah, it's it? lovely. Absolutely, it is, honestly. Yeah. And it's it's not like the easiest fabric to sew you know it's not as easy as like a cotton poplin or something but it's not the most difficult either because it is quite stable yeah the structure of it you know gives it stability um, you just want a really fine needle to avoid mm. puckering uh, and a nice good quality fine thread you know like a gutterman sew all yeah um and yeah you know it's it's not too difficult no yeah. so in terms of putting the applique onto this yeah they'd gotten shapes i think they had different fabrics that they could have chosen i don't think it was just taffeta on taffeta was it they were um yeah I think lauren used like a darker textured kind of fabric I wasn't yeah sure what that was. I... it was scraps they were accessing. yeah i mean it's a great way yeah, to use up it is scraps a great isn't way it? To use we scraps. loved it for that reason yeah. didn't we yeah um and yeah, I think if you're going to use taffeta as your base, I just wouldn't go for any fabric to applique that's too heavy. Yeah, like just a denim would pull. drag. And, yeah, yeah, it's going to drag the garment yeah. down. But really, other than that, um, I suppose if you had any like stretchy fabric scraps, like, you know, jersey or knit or something, that might be a bit more difficult to yeah, control. Yeah, that does sound hard. Yeah, I'd maybe stick to so warm they, they unless you want a really zigzag stitch around the edge. But you can yeah. inter use like transfer. There are adhesives that you can use yes. to get the shape onto there yeah absolutely like a bond web you yes. could use that to iron on um the, i mean and, the, and there's also different ways to then applique isn't there so mm. you could do like a raw edge applique where you're literally leaving the the edges of the shape raw and it as creates it, a, a, a textural yeah, a um yeah oh yeah feature. that sounds really lovely yeah and it, it, it's it's on here it, as well that'd be really rough and ready wouldn't it yes that'd be fun. yeah um or you can do the type of applique where like you turn the edges under mm -hmm. and then it's you know it's, it creates a very very neat edge i personally don't like doing that type of applique as much yeah um yeah, it's just, but it, but it does create a very nice finish. Or there's oh. the options like what they did where, like they used a wide zigzag stitch that's very close together um, around the edges. But you can use any sort of decorative yeah, stitch. Yeah, and don't go too nuts with the shape because you're not making yeah. more work. But I mean, you wouldn't be doing it in one hour and a half. Yeah. So they, they all did, they all produced such great skirts for yeah. an hour and a half. I'm yeah. always, always stunned with the pattern challenge yeah. how much they get through. Yeah, absolutely. But you could use like embroidery stitches and then yeah. I'm also multi-crafter so I have a die cutting machine Ooh, electronic yeah, and like, you know so if you've yeah. got any shapes that you could and they would um, create very perfect shapes yeah so you could go down that route or you could I mean, create you shapes letters. that are a bit odd you could do lettering yeah you know? yeah I mean it's endless yeah it is endless do, honestly it? but um, yeah I'm feeling quite inspired to give taffeta a go yeah, yeah yeah it's it's if you've not tried it before it's definitely you know it's it's something new to add to your so yeah. an arsenal, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, yeah, it, it's a lovely fabric. I would leave this in. Yeah, I, mean, I think could do so that, fun. couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Bring, but even cut that edge off and build it into the applique yeah. somehow. Or Yeah, it's a lovely feature, it is, isn't it? it even is. though it's just a cell Yeah, edge. they did a great job. And we also have a pattern as well. Yes, we have a pattern, don't we? So it's not exactly like the one used uh, that they used last night, but it's it's similar. Yeah, if you're looking for something similar, it's a good one. So this is Simplicity 9711. And you actually have um, Many three, views. Yeah, three different options. 
So you have different length options, and this one actually pleats in as opposed to gathers. But I don't suppose there'd be anything to stop you gathering it in instead no. of uh, pleating it, uh, if you wanted to do a hack of the pattern. Then it's got a waistband, and then one of the options has quite a big bore. Yeah. But if you want some, you know, an Esme yes. bore, you could maybe make that a bit oh, bigger. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, think, I think the separate bow that they made as well was pretty much just a long, 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 long rectangle. Yeah, it's a rectangle. Yeah. And it tied it? Yeah. around the full waist, and then it came together. So yeah. it would definitely could, be easy you to could do, do that. that yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you can support that bow with by either stuffing it or a little bit of yeah. like interfacing or yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. so what did you think of the what the contestants did last I loved night? it. I really yeah. loved the the bold choice. I think Lizzie chose choosing orange was really nice. Base I like colour. Yeah. Yeah it was really yeah. cool. I thought I thought Mia's I thought that was such a shame because she got marked down because I mean she didn't do the waistband a uh, bit correctly did she? Fair enough. But I thought the proportion and how she'd done all the applique yeah. I thought she'd done really well. And it was so a I felt very, really sorry for her. It was a very Mia challenge too because yeah. uh, she, I mean she's able to make any challenge uniquely her her colors very like you know I, I think I would have done a similar thing and choosing yeah. the palettes of the lilacs and yeah it was, yeah. It was beautiful yeah. they were and we were talking as well weren't we about the contestants that um you know went more subtle and perhaps didn't score as highly because of it and we felt that but that's kind of the whole point of Point yeah. of Art Week, yeah. isn't it? That everyone has their own interpretation, yeah. and some people will love that subject, yeah. they, won't they? And it's more, um, it's more chic for going to. Yeah. It was a bit more like Fashion Week, or it was a bit more. Yeah. Uh, like a Lawrence, who she had the black and teal combination, yeah. did a grey and teal maybe. Um, and Patrick was saying, though, there wasn't enough contrast between the colours, but I loved those I know. That colour palette. I know. So yeah, it's it's just. And they gave them those colours as well. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's exactly. like setting them up to fail. Yeah. Them up, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I know, I think they did a fab job. Yeah, yeah, great. definitely. So, the second challenge of transformation, I'm going to make a big bold statement here. Okay, okay. I've said right from day one, this isn't always my favourite. <laughs> I, I, it's not just one of my favourite challenges of like last night's episode. That was one of my favourite challenges of the whole series yeah. so far. I thought that it was, was brilliant. It was genius. It, it oh. was the epitome of what you... We, we didn't expect them to do that, did no, we? No, no. And also it had sort of like... Um, it, it, it's art being passed on to other artists. So yeah. the canvases, the transformation mm. challenge was they were, they were given very large canvases that had been painted by students, art students in Leeds, who knew that they were going to be cut yeah. up and had been commissioned for it and yeah. paid for it. I must admit, at first, I felt a little bit stressed as a viewer watching them cut into paintings. And some of the contestants actually said didn't they, that they yeah. were really feeling the yeah. stress of that. So I got that. But when Patrick said like the paint, the, the artists who were painting them knew they were going to be yeah. cut up, I thought, right, okay, that made me feel a bit better. And then oh, seeing the amazing brilliant. things they made, it was like, I, oh, I would love just... to do that. Oh, I painted mm. a lot back in college. I would love yeah. to see whatever I've done taken yeah. by another uh, a creative and, and, and spun in a different way. Yeah. So they all went at it a completely yeah. different way. I love how all the canvases yeah. are very different as well. Yes. So it created like yeah so there was the picking of them and they basically wanted something sculptural something with drama because yes. canvas is probably one of the thickest yeah and especially fabrics. when it's been painted on because yes. that adds a, an extra layer of crispness and structure yeah. doesn't it um i remember mia at one point saying how she couldn't get a pin through mm. it into the mannequin because yeah. that bit was so thick with paint and just so. <laughs> no one will have probably tried that before this is yeah. just such a like an innovation so it was fabulous so they all just got straight into it um, Asma was great. She yes. basically selected a central motif and mm. popped that in the centre. Nobody else did that, did they? No, and that was bold because that, if you know, if that was in the centre of the canvas, you're limiting the amount of I pattern pieces that, that yep. you were sort of like yeah. envisioning across the canvas. Because they could only use one canvas yeah. as well, couldn't they? So it was limited fabric to use, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Mia had done oh, like Mia's. Mia oh. had gone really pleated up the top and then was sort of creating an asymmetric top. So she was, yeah. she was you know, securing that and then decided to swoop around. Yeah, like an extra plate. Oh, just, detail, that was it? just red carpet. That oh, was like Met Gala, like goosebumpy. Yeah. And imagine if they did that as a theme for the Met Gala, who like art oh, inspired and yeah. people wearing that. They need the of, Met Gala. They do. If they're, they're watching, they're definitely watching. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, I'll take credit for that next year. Uh, so that was beautiful as well because that was a very um, oh, painterly, yeah. very hair again. And then I loved Bob's approach as well. Um, yes. And, and I learned something new because she created a sunray pleat according to yeah. Patrick, which I suppose just means like um, the way that the pleat comes yeah. out. But I've never thought to make a top that way. I've yeah. never thought to gather, obviously on a dress, uh, but I've never thought to sort of gather in and create that sort of like sweetheart yeah. bust. 
Um, and then she went opposite, so it was sort of yeah coming out again. The I pins, with, the yeah. punk, it was just I think so with Fox, cool. I, I think the painting itself and how she positioned that, you know, the parts of the painting that were like the focal point of the garment yeah. really worked. Yeah. I love that, the kind of like mark making splatter. But so modern too, because she could have gone yeah. with a longish gown, but she didn't. It kept it very punk and cool yes. and painterly yeah. that it was just this Which really suited the painting itself. Yeah. And yeah, it Loved it. I'd wear that. I would wear that. Just I might even try and attempt a poor man's version of that. But yeah, yeah, it was oh, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, I think they all did great. Yeah. They stuck to their strengths. A few a few more people in the pack prefer uh, more structural garments in order to feel comfortable. They're not really drapers, you yes. know, but I think they all did a great job to get yeah. something really well sewn on the mannequin in yeah. such a short amount of time. I thought, um, is it Tony R, the older Tony, uh, the one with the beanie? <laughs> um, I thought his got like marked down unfairly. I thought his was really good and yeah. they didn't like the shape of it at the front, did they? But I really liked it. I liked that it was lower yeah. at the back. And, and it didn't I have the to old... be a finished yeah, thing, like yeah, it wasn't like that with the whole garment. Was yeah. yeah, like with high waisted trousers yeah. or something. Yeah. I thought it's, and I just loved how it ha like hung at the back with this like pleated details. Yeah. And, oh, and Lauren's with the, the yes. deep purple. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Yeah, like oh, fractured. Yes. Um, again, like shards of glass. That was glass, completely different. That was cutting shapes, and and yeah. that's risky because with the rest of them, if something maybe wasn't working, you could um, Take it fold out, it, and, and yeah, yeah. But this was like. Well, she cut okay. them. She yeah. knew the fabric to work yeah. with, has she? But yeah, it, I think it somebody said impact. it looked a little bit like armour and mm -hmm. it, it did, didn't it? Oh, yeah. it was so cool. Yeah. They, um, I felt like they were all very led by their prints so well. Yeah, it I think for me, really there was cool. probably four of them. Easily, yeah, four of them that could have took that top spot. Yes. They were all yeah. so good. Yeah, it was uh, And the winner, you know, was definitely well deserved, but there were three very close yeah. runners up. But there. even <laughs> just seeing all the mannequins at the end when they came back yeah. in, that could be an art exhibition itself. Yeah. That would be so fun. I'd love to read about a challenge that only took such time and these students yeah. are involved. It's almost a collaboration between yes, this artist the two and artists. That. Yeah, yeah, it was really for all that week. I mean, what yeah. could be better than that? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I've got as far as to say that was my favourite challenge of the night. Night, which yeah. I don't think I've ever said that about no. the transformation challenge before. Yeah, yeah. that's great. So the third challenge, the made to measure, mm -hmm. it was a great one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they were asked to create a garment or an outfit inspired by surrealism, surrealism. so which yeah. is a 20th century art movement, yeah. isn't it? Which you, you're really I love. If, if you asked me what my favourite art movement would, it, it would always be surrealism. It was sort of a point in time where photography started creeping in. Okay, Photography right. has sort of been invented and there's a lot of political bits that go into surrealism and there's yeah. another movement that actually happened at the same time called Dada where people would um, mm. cut and paste and collage sort of political statements which leads into surrealism as well. Oh, Coined yeah. by Dali which a lot of people have seen yeah. and they did touch on Dali and um, other people that he worked with yesterday which was super cool to, to go over. Yeah. But as a movement, I mean they could have done anything really yeah. uh, to choose and I'm glad they went with surrealism because it puts it puts the, the the theme in the contestants' hands. Yes. It's not, yeah. you need to create this pop art thing, you need to create this renaissance thing. It's, this is surreal, look to your dreams for inspiration and yeah. come up with, yeah, well, almost your dream garment or something that very yeah. much represents you, yeah. so. And I think that was very much represented, you could see that come through in the garments, because yeah. there was so much variety, yeah. wasn't there? and different approaches, completely yeah. different approaches. Yeah. So, you know, a couple of them had looked to surrealism and um, dreams very closely, and yeah. the inner eye, the ego, the, you know, or yeah. this subconscious mind, which was where we saw the eyes as icons and things, yeah. so that's quite a literal translation yeah. of maybe... Which I must admit, I thought that was a very... It, it is quite literal, but it, it did create very powerful statements. It is, and it's garment, surreal, it? it's very yeah. odd to see, you know, it's like, it is human... It's, it's an odd way to view an eye yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then a few of them had, had taken inspiration from very specific surrealist painters yes. and looked at one of their paintings and drawn from that. So I wasn't yeah. actually familiar with either of those specific okay. paintings. Right. So it was good to have that reference and then see where they come. And yeah. I, I feel like um, it was uh, Fove and um, Tony. So they'd they very much selected their fabrics choices. Yes. So the leather, the lace, the, the velvet, the feather, yeah. those were the things that came out of the paintings, yes. I, I feel, and that was where they sort of started yeah. their design. I mean, the shaping and everything went with it. So that was yeah. another take on it. But it was far less literal, I guess, yes. wasn't it? The, compared to like Liz's and Vicky's where you've got the eyes yes. and all that. Like, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you had, um, so Lauren and the other Tony had done very, 
yeah. very arty references that are that are a commentary. It's you know yeah. the illusion. So Lawrence was very much a nod to things that have happened on the runway. The yeah, so hers is the one with the, the, the floating shirt, shirt, it, the which floating, is an absolute yeah. treat to I, see. Yeah. That was such a cool way to take it. And then I think Tony's is going to split people completely, yes. but I loved it. I loved as it as a you know an art fan like to to create. A piece inspired by René Magritte, big René Magritte fan, been to his right. museum oh, in, okay. in Brussels and oh, stuff. Cool. So, yeah, to see him take the vinyl and yeah. to pop that on, you know, controversially, some people might not like the actual dress itself. We'd love to hear what you think about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I do think this is, I mean, what art is all about, isn't it? You know, some yes. people love it, some people will hate, uh, hate it. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, we both very well, you, firmly fell in the love camp. You could easily wear. argue that his is the most wearable for anyone every day at the same time, <laughs> yeah, whereas it's not yeah. doing, you know, the serial runway thing it's just it was absolutely brilliant how they all took it so yeah. differently and I get that it was a simple dress so I, yeah. under, I would understand that um commentary and feedback from people that you know compared to some of the other makes yes. you know it was it was definitely a lot more yes. simple but I think he was very brave to do it's that it's bold and it's art and, weekend if you're gonna you do know, it sometimes the most simplest makes mm -hmm. are the ones that have the most impact mm -hmm. and that look fabulous and are wearable and and yeah I loved it he's, I just just making a statement that through time people People have never been able to see say what is art yeah it's what is it's so subjective it's like you, if you just put a sign on it it's art you know yeah. it, it was dead interesting I thought it was brilliant yeah. and also throughout the series the, throughout that last challenge as well with Mia's um, with the huge pom-poms, oh, Mia, yes. Mia so didn't want to go it? down a dark surrealist route, but she brought drama, she brought elegance, she yeah. brought, you know, really dream clouds, you know, it was such yeah. a clever idea. The shape of it, and it had so much drama, yeah. didn't it? it Again, fabulous. a simple dress, but she'd use her craft skills. We learnt how to make giant tulle pom-poms, <laughs> yeah. you know, with Tony's we learnt how to, to transfer vinyl, yeah. you know, a lot of them were embellishing and doing things that we haven't seen before, so it was absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Was really I think on Tony's black dress, he got the feedback didn't hear that there wasn't um, that much contrast between the letters and the dress itself and I, I like, like that yeah. I love the if subtlety it had been brighter it, yeah. then it wouldn't have been and that like you could only just see it at also if angles. it was sort of shiny and glossy it might have looked tacky yes the I matte, think the matte so. part of it was sort of oh, like just, yeah, yeah, it was brilliant fabulous, I think we should yeah. make yeah, yeah. Dresses, honestly. That's something I could whip up. Yeah, know, yeah so. <laughs> but yeah I felt so inspired I think they did a great job everyone made a finished Neat yeah. garment, and they ordered themselves proud. Yeah. Oh, we didn't mention Asmus as well. That was yeah. so brilliant. Asmus, yeah, uh, the with this, which the was her dreams she... and fears. So she exposed yeah. like another level. It of felt very personal, didn't yeah. it? And yeah. it was lovely that she she opened herself up. To, yeah, and she to challenged challenge herself to make new textures. She yeah. did starching, which I've not seen in. Yonks, yeah, you know, we've yeah. been taking a blast from the past, but yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It was really cool. And I, I did really like um so Vicky's and Liz's, so the ones that, that you know included the yes, eyes. Quilting. We yes. saw some quilting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought see with Vicky's the feedback I think from Patrick was that he thought the the top which kind of came very outwards, didn't it, the shape, that that should have laid flatter. But I liked yeah, the it shape. I thought it was very, you know, what you catwalk esque, you yeah. know, it, was, it had drama. I know, and not not everything has to be very form fitting. Yeah, you know? and the fact that it, you yeah. know, it had it was cropped, so it had that bit of a gap before the yeah. skirt started. And I do agree, the fit at the back, you know, that could have been better. Um, but I, I still thought it was a brilliant, yeah. a brilliant outfit. Liz's with the the eyes on the arms. Mm. I, th I just with the little mirrors. So, so yeah, cool. it had so much drama walking yeah. down that catwalk, didn't it? Right down the runway, and uh, again, the feedback on hers that the eyes weren't realistic enough. But they don't. There's no, no rules on no, how eyes. Because no, again, everyone would do it differently. A lot yeah. of surrealists do realism, but in a weird way. Yeah. So they probably call in on that. But yeah. you know, in in the time period they've yeah. got, I, you know, I how realistic really can you get it. with an eye? Yeah. 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 But it's brilliant. I thought the applique of the giant eye, the quilting, all that level of detail was really cool. Yeah. And it's just sparking. If you if you're really into trying like new things in sewing, it's really yeah. fun. And we need something yeah. to wear. Should we have just like a surrealist party <laughs> yeah. and everyone surrealist just wears something? Ever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why no? Because you know, you, you, when we create our own wardrobes as well, we very much so to our capsule of what we're gonna wear day to day with yeah. the odd holiday, the odd you know wedding, whatever. Yeah. When do you get a chance to sew something as nuts <laughs> yeah, as that? Yeah. As that. Absolutely. It's just so inspiring. So we're not gonna tell you what we would have sewn without yes. going into our deepest, darkest fears and dreams. <laughs> yeah, and all it's that a little bit of an odd one to do. Yeah, that it's this hard. Week, isn't it's it? hard. But, but what Natalie has done, which I think is really fantastic, is she's um, collated a, a collection of 
fabrics, so these are all our Minerva exclusive Viscose Chalet fabrics, and you've you've um, created four little mini collections, yes. haven't you, that are um, inspired by four different art movements. Yeah, they sort of evoke those feelings or go along with the, the yeah, genre of Yeah, yeah, so we, we've got... Um, yes, so should I start at this yeah, end? Yeah, let's start so at this end, I've, yeah. I've picked these fabrics out for their connection to the Renaissance. So, yes, so um, we're very, three in that collection. Yes, because there's been a lot of very bold fabrics and that might not be your thing. But yeah. if you like a kind of painterly realism, nature-inspired, yes. light sort of... Um, Renaissance style, yeah. you know, Leonardo, you know, all that kind of um, yeah. Sistine so we... Chapel. We don't have any of like the actual <laughs> paintings, <laughs> but very like, yeah, it's gorgeous. Inspired so, by, yeah. yeah, apologies to anyone who maybe isn't a snake fan, but I think this <laughs> yeah. is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So, what's this one called? So, this maybe? one is called Coiled Kingdom, and yeah, if hopefully you'll be able to see that on camera, but it is literally lots of snakes layered on top of each other. So Predominantly like neutral, natural neutral colours, like yeah. greys and beiges and fawns, that sort of thing. But there's like a hint of red and green in yeah. there. It's really... Do you know what I love about this? You make a dress out of it and someone can't see from afar yes. sort of what it is and yeah. then you walk up to it and you go... Oh, and oh, then you see it. Yeah, and it's just that fun like yeah, shock absolutely. factor. So... Yeah, I, th I think that's really beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're, so unusual, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the way that they're illustrated is very, like, of that era, and yeah. it's just really fun, cool. really cool. Very yeah. cool, yeah. And um, we've got this beautiful pink yeah. one, which is... So this one is Avian Garden. So it's very, very pretty, this one, isn't it? And just so much detail. So this is a directional print. Yes. It goes this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This it's is so, so beautiful. I mean, it's got, um, it's sort of got, um, like, Asian influence too. You've got the herons. It's got, it, yeah, it's just a beautiful mix of references, really. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this really is a pretty summer pale dress. pink background. And it's quite, um, it's not a very bright pink background. It's almost like a... A smudgy pink, if yes. that makes sense, but it just yeah, like a pale. Yeah, yeah. it's really soft and delicate, and I just think it's beautiful. Again, quite one. quite a nice smaller print to use for yes. detailed. Whereas some of the others we've chosen are just the huge yes, abstract yeah. kind of <laughs> yeah. prints. And again, for another this one is called theme. Forest Thrush. Oh, just oh, this is beautiful. Really, oh. really beautiful. It's it's just like it is like a paint a work of yeah. art on fabric, isn't I it? I think it's this gorgeous. might be one of the most versatile for whether you could make it into a garment that goes to a wedding and you know yes or yeah. or whether it's you know a cute little top or yeah. you know I can see you a little really dress it up, dress it down. Yeah, kind of I think it's super lovely. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. If oh. you're a bird watcher, anyone? <laughs> yes. <out there. laughs> so that's just yeah, snakes, birds. You know, we've got your cover. <laughs> yeah. One. So then these are the fabrics I've put together for surrealism. Yeah. So absolutely obsessed oh. with this. Yep. This is I what I was speaking about in terms of it looking like well painted realism. So artists ah, would do, yeah. you know, anatomically correct Apple things or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and then they would throw in something crazy. A jewel turtle. Yes, yeah. so <laughs> you know, a jewel turtle. It Why is what not? It is. Yeah. So this is really fun. Again, another one that would sort of make someone turn their head. Like, oh, the, yeah. it's got big like water drop droplets falling down. So yeah. it's sort of and um, there's flowers in there. There's a flamingo here. Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Diamante brooches. Yeah. I uh, love this sort of ombre background effect too. Yes. So yeah, it's so got like tealy blue that goes yeah. into black, isn't it? Yeah. So you'd have to think about this one, how you're going to cut your pattern pieces. Yes. Just because yeah. there's so much going on. I wouldn't say you'd like pattern match as such because no. it's such a big print. But you wouldn't but want a couple play. of apples yeah. in yeah. the wrong place. Exactly. Or... And you'd want you'd want to make a feature of you know, maybe at the front of the garment or wherever, you know, you'd you'd you could have fun picking out which bits you wanted yeah. to work on. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Um, just with yeah, pattern placement, there's a yeah. post pattern matching really, isn't it? And yeah, the that one is called Tempting Treasures, which I love the name Treasures. of that. Yeah. yeah. I'm very tempted. Yeah, me Indeed. too. In fact yeah. I have a piece of this at home. Yeah, I think a wilder gown in this would be oh, yeah. really, really cool. Yeah. And the dress that you've got on. And that yes. Yeah. And then yeah. we're just gonna throw this crazy yeah. colour at you. So this one is called Fertile Fronds. Whoops. So let's say that after a few drinks. Yeah, <laughs> they're all done twisted, aren't they? And uh, yeah, this we um, is from a, uh, the design comes from a Spanish artist that we work with. Yes. And uh, yeah, she just creates the most incredible pieces of art and they just look amazing. So it's not right. like traditionally surreal, but it's like under the sea, sci-fi. Yes. It is by its nature surreal. Yes. In it's approach. If you... If you want a wallflower, this is the one. Yeah. And this also comes, does this come in other colours? Uh, in another colour as well. Yeah. So more um, yellows like and blues. blues. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's just, oh, I love this. It's I really love this. Isn't it? 
so yeah. much detail when you look up close as well. And you can see, you can see like droplets of paint mm. and oh yeah, you can like see watercolor the, kind of effects. And yeah, yeah, it's not just like a um, a graphic. Pretty, you, know, you can tell it's been painted and drawn. Yes, can't yeah. in. Really I think gorgeous. as well, if you anywhere you wore this, people would stop you and say, "Where is that from?" Yeah, yeah. it's a it's a short. Where did you get that print, dress from? It? Yeah, it's absolutely. Beautiful. And then a little bit mix of both, really, kind of the yeah. both of those kind of thrown together. So this is Dreamland Tigers. Yeah, it's one yeah. of my favourites, this one. I do, yeah. I do. Just because, I, I, I think I've said a few times, I like a darker base, yeah. but I love bold colours too. Yeah. So and this, this is the best both, both isn't it? Yeah. 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 So and it has that sort of like, cute. almost like a spotty, dotty, or like almost animal print texture in the background. That's yeah. It's printed grey on black, so very like, toned down and dark. Yeah. But then these super bright, colourful tigers that are just I can, scattered all over. I can see over. any garment in this. Yeah. A shirt... Jumpsuit, jump dress, oh, jumpsuit, jump yeah. wide leg trousers, Ooh. just cute little shorts, yeah. little often candy top, yeah. pyjamas. Pyjamas, yeah. Oh, just um, anything would look good. And it's a nice scale, isn't it? It's not too big, but not too small. Yeah. Um, and again, like I certainly wouldn't be pattern matching on this because it's no. so... I mean, you could do if you wanted no, to. No, you just but... don't want to chop off any heads. Yeah, yeah. maybe you want, right in the centre, you won't want to a head chopped off yeah. as well, as would you? But oh, yeah. it's just gorgeous. Really oh, fun. Really lovely, isn't it? Okay, my shopping list is getting <laughs> yeah, bigger, bigger and bigger. bigger. And then one more on the surrealist front. I just thought this was really fun. Um, I've got a piece of this at home as this well. This as well. <laughs> this sort of like, the reader's jellyfish or, yes. or, or sort of you know you can have your own interpretation when i saw it online i thought it was fireworks ah okay. so it's got yeah, a yeah i read it as jellyfish yeah. but yeah now you've but said with that the, yeah but the way that they are painted the and sparks coming off yeah oh yeah and, and or night sky yeah it's a beautiful combination of colors and that orange is really vivid i don't yeah. know if it pops on on the camera yeah, but, but in real life it certainly does, again you can it? see the brush strokes it's just yeah, beautiful. It's beautiful and this one's called marina secrets which i love the name of that Lovely. one as well so definitely not fireworks <laughs> i've just seen it can things. be any, it can be anything you so want so now we're into <laughs> pop art which yes. i think is a lot of people's sort of main reference to art or a really strong yes, reference yeah. and like Andy Warhol all that kind of yeah, like 60s. I think if you did any like um art course at school or college like pop art is always brought yeah, in some huge. sort of assignment yeah. to do because it was a change um, from the art world into the printing world into yes, it, it yeah. took another form into yeah. marketing you know yeah, yeah of um, course yeah. he used the Campbell soup um, yes yeah. as like a backdrop kind of thing yeah so yeah it was a really iconic point point of um, yeah. recent art history yeah. and this is just nuts yeah so this one is called neon alley and it is like some psychedelic dream isn't yeah it, this is just this is so like, cool you could sew this in the dark probably <laughs> yeah <laughs> just yeah. like day glow but it's fun <laughs> the first thing i thought was sort of like paintball fight kind of yeah thing. yeah like but throwing paint it also the has a jellyfish kind of feel yes um, yeah it's just really fun or yeah. it might emit emo, evoke like nice memories of kids painting yeah you know like that's nice yeah. kind of like artwork from the kids yeah. sort of thing i just think it's just oh, the color palette's just beautiful isn't yeah. it? for a summer holiday or something and also if you're gorgeous. not interested in in prints that have a, a theme or you know something that's more yeah. abstract that is just color shapes and colors yeah. yeah then it's yeah. a really fun one yeah it's so i wonder what thread one. matches with this one i'm very curious i think we'll have gone for like the pale bluish <laughs> in the background yeah something yeah, completely i mean neon. i think if you've got a selection of threads in your stash at home they you're gonna have something that matches Absolutely. this one probably yeah that's beautiful <laughs> yeah it's gorgeous isn't yeah it? so the so, next one yes. oh this so is a this lot of one. our favorites here at Minerva, yeah this it? reminds me there's a pop artist called roy lichtenstein okay so this is very like his sort of thing so colorful but also gestured in very the... illustrative yes isn't it? Yeah. yeah so it's really cool and Again, this is called pandora's box it just one. reads differently to everyone that's yeah. one of these fabrics oh, they I just i find it hard to describe with this one why i love it so much mm -hmm. which i know sound, maybe sounds a little bit odd but it's just so different and cool and it, it gives me so like much... beano comics in a yes, fun way yeah. it's got a kind of childlike play to it but it's grown up enough for us to sew and yeah. wear it and i think i think it's a, an interesting print this one because like different people here in the uh, offices here at minerva um you know when they see this print people see different things mm. in it like I, I know i've seen like a waterfall and like a scene in it mm. whereas other people have seen completely different things but yet it is just completely yeah. abstract it is so and i always love art that you can it. see things mm. into it yeah yeah that's cool i think it's uh, so lovely that one um, then this one is called yes. acorn 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 art <laughs> that was a tongue twister 
Um, and this one actually comes in four different colourways. Yeah. So we've just picked out one yeah. of them, haven't we? But isn't that... Obsessed. It's gorgeous, isn't I, it? I, and all these like rules of sewing and art and stuff, you know that you shouldn't put red and pink together. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's been so many things in my head for years, like, oh, we couldn't do this, we couldn't do that. And then you see it and you're like... This is the rules are meant to be broken, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, <laughs> they really are. Like it's, I just oh, and I just typically gorgeous. don't wear blue that much, but I'm getting more and more inspired yeah. to sew with blue. It's a very light like, electric blue that. Yeah, and they all connect, don't blue. they? Because it's sort of the spectrum from pink all the way down to yes. the blue with the purple in the middle. So it definitely yeah. works. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And there yeah. are if you do like this fins as well. The other three colours there's some gorgeous ones. Yes, yeah. like there's one that's like a turquoise and bluey green. Mm. One that's lovely. And, yeah. Um, one that's actually quite a lot more subtle. That's all like heathery purples. Mm. That's lovely as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean for pop art, that's it's just yeah, yeah it's fabulous, it's isn't fun. it? And, and then, then the next one, which is possibly one of our boldest prints today. So yes. this is Mountain Memoir. And I just Zing. think this is, oh, yeah. it's just amazing. <laughs> this is cool. So this is like a more simplified, stuck, you know, like yeah. paint with numbers type. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not a lot. It's busy, but it's not busy in the same way that other ones are. Yeah. It's very like, it almost looks Tonal. like it could have been drawn with a big black marker. Yeah. And then filled in with graffiti. Colors, yeah. yeah, sort of yeah, like. Yeah, a bit graffiti looking. Yeah. yeah. Posted yeah. pens. Post it pe yeah, yeah absolutely, it does yeah. all of them make you feel about a different type of like ap application of color yes or yeah absolutely. yeah that's really fun and again i think like a maxi dress or something in that for a hot summer holiday would just be gorgeous cool or even like even just like a, a blouse or something to wear every yeah. day oh. i'm thinking romper oh yeah that'd be like very a cheeky little wouldn't it yeah. yeah definitely and then we've got the cubist yes prints so yeah people would associate cubism with like kind of Picasso there's, yeah there's a lot of artists in that movement and they stuck to specific lines yes. specific shapes very not angular, at all very realism yeah. yeah yeah people don't look like people vases yes. don't look like vases yeah but absolutely. Um, great if you love sort of geomet if you sew with geometric style yes. sort of prints a lot yeah um, uh, so this one is called Parallel Park and it's just got it's what I fell in love with with this print is the colour palette yeah that sort of pinky magenta the colour orange. the blue yeah that mm. hint of orange in there I just think it's gorgeous and it is so uh, graphic and linear and you know angled shapes and it? it's it's just beautiful yeah some really I mean if, with all of these there um, with this one I know some gorgeous makes that have been shared mm -hmm. on Minerva using this fabric it's just oh, I think it's beautiful yeah it's really stunning. lovely Stringing. Then the next one is... Yeah, and I don't know if we've shown this one off properly, really. Maybe this is, not, yeah. This is maybe the most arty. Yeah. Literal. Yeah. And it's called Painter's Patchwork, which yeah. I love that name, because it kind of combines Aside art... Aside from this one, which is... Yeah, that's very, very arty as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And I, just, I think what I love about this one is that, yes, it's like a patchwork with these square and triangle shapes, but each of them, it looks like they've been crayoned on really, or, like... Or pastel, <laughs> if you ever work with pastels. Yes, yeah. yeah. And, and when you look into them as well, you can see layers of colours mm. um you know in each of these blocks so it has so much depth yeah it's just oh hello. perfect if you love something a bit more muted but you yeah. don't go dark you know yeah it's sort of you don't want something house. boring but you don't yeah. want something super bright <laughs> either yeah yeah that's beautiful that's oh, beautiful isn't it and then the next one is actually the one i'm wearing but we had to include this didn't we <laughs> whoops yeah this is lovely there we go this is this your favorite i know um, i can't make you choose but it's up there. It's, dead, it's up there, yeah. It's just so hard to choose a favourite, yeah. isn't it? But yeah, I mean, I love wearing this. Um, and yeah, the, this print is called Babylon Arts. And it's such quite a limited colour palette, isn't it? But mm. just the black against those strong colours, it just, it pops so With this, much, I can it? picture someone sitting by, a, you know, the sea or with yeah. the yachts and sort of going through the whole... Yeah. Drinking hand. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it just see, it feels like you're sort of, you can see the scene, even though it's very abstract. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely, it's really lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And the last one, Breton Rivery. I think if you love colour, this is a really good one for you. <laughs> Do you know what, as well? Um, recently, I sort of, sort of saw someone using fabric to make artwork at home. So literally buying the amount, creating a frame for it. This would look gorgeous yeah. on a wall. Yeah. It like, is like obviously a make a dress mind, with it. it. But <laughs> if, you, if you see a print that you maybe don't feel confident enough to wear, to wear or, yeah. but you would love to see it every day and see it on the wall. Yeah. You could stretch a piece of this yeah. over a canvas. It would go well. A work but, of art. Because yeah. it's almost a shame to cut into them sometimes. You <laughs> yeah, really they're so enjoy beautiful. Or we'll just yeah. get two pieces and wear yeah. one. <laughs> wear one and put one on the wall and then just sort of yeah. sew it. <laughs> yeah. But that's what this 
feels like feels to me. Like it, it just yeah. feels like it yeah. would really take presence in it on a white wall beautifully. Yeah. I think what I love about this one as well is like, so you've got the stripes and very angular mm. linear shapes, but then a lot of them are like rounded. sort of, mm. yeah, rounded corners or just an off shape square. Or yeah, it softens it. It softens it. it, does. it. Yeah. And this is a very primary palette as well. Yes. It's like, Pastels. The orange and the turquoise in it. Yeah. And that hint of like black and yellow. It's just oh there's so much to look at in it, isn't it? Yeah, and there, it could but... look like um, buildings, it could look like little, little lollipops, yeah. like it's just yeah, it's yeah. really cute. It's beautiful, That's isn't fun. It? Yeah. So yeah, so thank you to Natalie for putting that yeah. collection no, I, together I really for us. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Did. yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, and but... they'll be on an email as well for you to see. Yeah, tomorrow. Things. So if you're not signed up to a newsletter, do sign up to it. And uh, yeah, we'll be putting a collection of all these together in, in that newsletter tomorrow, won't we? Um, so yeah, I think totally, totally enjoyed that third challenge. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely, like you said it, uh, earlier, that it's totally left me feeling inspired. Yeah, sparked. The, yeah, the maybe feelings. I'm not going to go away and make, you know, a garment with an eye on it. Exactly. Yeah. But the, just the whole creativity and just, oh, just the wonderful things we can create out of our imaginations. Mm. It's just really like, and if, you, a spring in my if that's how you things. got into sewing as well, or there were other crafts in your life as well, or you did them at school, they were very much close to to hand and the more you get out into adult life and do boring things I think a bit of that you lose, you lose a little it. bit yeah because yeah. it's not as much time to be as experimental or the precious time that you have to make a garment is spent on doing that there's yeah. not a lot of time for fun and play so yeah it's nice come, to be I've come away of the joy of it, yeah I've it? really come yeah. away thinking that a couple of exercises that are just you know doesn't matter what happens out of this We'll applique this, we'll throw this there, we'll do that. Yeah. We'll really trigger some some good yeah. inspo and get the brain going in that yeah, way. So. Absolutely. So that concludes our roundup of episode five of Sewing Bee. I enjoyed it so much. I hope you did too. And we're about to go on to episode six, which is Kids Week, Children's yeah. Week, um, where they are making a dragon dressing gown yeah gosh these things are hard to say today. They, yeah. <laughs> they, are, they are transforming a denim jacket which looks really fun and looks yeah. like something i would do let alone like yeah. for a kid um and then for the third challenge they are making like a party outfit yeah so that'd be really fun but i'm quite looking forward to children's yeah. week um i think like it's another chance to be quite playful and creative and yes. um yeah just i think you know like the, the dragon dressing gown it is a tongue twister that isn't it the dragon dressing gown yeah, it could be really fun yeah it's never your absolute no week, i mean I, but, i've never sewn for kids i've never thought to yeah. but i do think ah like less fitting like yeah ooh, yeah you know like yeah. maybe like it's it just a little bit fun, easier so, yeah. yeah it might just it'll it might just yeah. still leave you inspired yeah yes. but yeah do let us know in the comments so did you love this week's episode or art week just as much as we did um yeah let us know what you thought of garments of the week and who went home was that the right decision um, yeah, and did you agree with us with Tony's mm. black dress yes. or did you not like it? <laughs> We'd love to hear from you on that, especially. Um, yeah, and next week, let's look forward to Children's Week. Can't wait. See you then. Bye.